before I show you how to set Memflow up, I'll give you a broad overview of its architecture, because it will help you understand the project better and some important terms I'll be using later on. The core of Memflow is the Memflow crate. It provides all the functions needed to interface with memory, but it is quite useless by itself. This is where the connectors come in. Connectors link the core of Memflow with physical memory. They implement a DMA and a common structure describing them. Connectors can be included statically in your project or dynamically with the inventory feature, which allows your code base to be very portable. On the other end, we have operating system layers. They parse a particular OS and provide access to individual programs. In the future, the common functionality will be defined in the core and the operating system layers will also be able to be easily interchanged. Once all three parts are connected, you are ready to write your code. In addition, there is the command line interface, which aims to remove all the boilerplate and allow you to focus on your application. Anyways, this was an overview of Memflow. In the next video, I'll show you how to set it up, including the command line interface. If you have any questions or requests of what you want to see in the future, pop them down in the description below. And please like this video and subscribe for more quality content. Your name was Undefined, my name was Heap. See ya.